most of our decisions, whether we like it or not, most of our actions, most of our behavior, most of our experiences are constantly being shaped at the instinctual level. I would argue that about 90 to 95% of our decisions, even important decisions, uh, you might think that you're being rational, but keep in mind that if you pit the rational brain against the emotional brain, in general, it is the emotional brain that is going to win out. In fact, I have this quote out there which says that the rational brain does not be, it's not, it's not good at being rational. What it is good at is simply rationalize what the emotional brain has already decided to do. And therefore, it behooves us to understand the workings of the instinctual the emotional brain. Neuromodulators like serotonin, dopamine, cortisol, et cetera, have a significant impact on who we are, uh, even, for example, who we are in the morning compared to who we are in the afternoon. And that has a huge significance in terms of uh, the nature of the decisions that we make in the morning versus in the afternoon. The answer to this question is that, in general, it is far better off scheduling your decision making in the morning because that's when the levels of, the natural levels of serotonin, the natural levels of dopamine, serotonin is the calming chemical, dopamine is the excitatory chemical. Serotonin levels are going to be normal because when you wake up in the morning, serotonin levels are going to be high. As a result of which, you can start taking chances. You're less risk averse. Um, whereas what happens when, as the day begins to progress, is that there's a natural decline in the level of serotonin, as a result of which, when you're making decisions in the afternoon, you will tend to be more risk averse. And therefore, there'll be a tendency to gravitate towards what we call the status quo, the classic status quo bias. And the status quo bias will manifest in the form of an indecision. And that's why you'll see that very often, when you're making decisions, important decisions, especially uh, late in the afternoon, very often you end up postponing those decisions you know, because you like to stick to the status quo. Sleep is extremely critical. Why? Because there's one phase of sleep called deep sleep or slow wave sleep. And this is where our natural levels of uh, serotonin, dopamine, et cetera, come back to normal. And therefore, if you don't get good quality sleep, what I mean by that is good quality deep sleep or slow wave sleep, you're likely to end up in waking up in the morning with lower levels of, of serotonin, as a result of which you're more likely to be in a type one mindset, fearful, more likely to make decisions out of fear, more likely to be risk averse, et cetera. Previously, people thought that what fitness does is it releases endorphins in the brain because we all feel good after a, after a workout. Turns out it is really not, uh, really not endorphins. Turns out that there's actually a, a, a precursor to serotonin that is released when you are going through a fitness workout. And therefore, it is a, it is a, it's, a, it's nature's way to keep our levels of serotonin and dopamine high during the day. I always advise people to have a high protein breakfast, good quality protein. It could be a whey protein, it could be egg protein, egg white, for example. Why? Because as the day begins to progress, right, you had your breakfast like at seven o'clock in the morning, as the day begins to progress, all these other amino acids are getting absorbed past the blood-brain barrier. The, one of the last ones to be released and get absorbed is tryptophan, which is a precursor to serotonin. So which means that if you had a high quality protein breakfast in the morning, by the time you're hitting about 11, 11.30, when you're going to expect a down, is when you're going to get a serotonin boost, and therefore you're effective, as effective making decisions in the middle of the day as you are in the morning. Mm -hmm.